This is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy uh, is, uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. There has been a lot of talk about SpaceX in recent years because whether people want to believe it or not, they have been making serious progress in regards to getting their starships able to launch, land back on Earth safely, and take things and people up to space and the International Space Station. But what do people honestly know about the Starship as a whole? What gives it its power? What other tools and features does it have? And what is the deal with the latest launch? Allow us to show you inside Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. The Most Recent Launch and Explosion So you might have heard that SpaceX did another test of their rocket on March 3rd, and SpaceX was more than happy to document it on their website. On Wednesday, March 3rd, Starship serial number SN10 successfully completed SpaceX's third high-altitude flight test of a Starship prototype from our site in Cameron County, Texas. Similar to the high-altitude flight tests of Starship SN8 and SN9, SN10 was powered through ascent by three Raptor engines, each shutting down in sequence prior to the vehicle reaching Apogee, approximately 10 kilometers in altitude. SN10 performed a propellant transition into the internal header tanks which hold landing propellant before reorienting itself for re-entry and a controlled aerodynamic descent. The Starship prototype descended under active aerodynamic control, accomplished by independent movement of two forward and two aft flaps on the vehicle. All four flaps were actuated by an onboard flight computer to control Starship's altitude during flight and enable a precise landing at the intended location. SN10's Raptor engines ignited as the vehicle performed the landing flip maneuver immediately before successfully touching down on the landing pad. As if the flight test was not exciting enough, SN10 experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly shortly after landing. All in all, a great day for the Starship teams. These test flights are all about improving our understanding and development of a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo on long duration interplanetary flights and help humanity return to the moon and travel to Mars and beyond. Did you catch it? The slight joke they put in there to make things seem all the better? Because while it's true that the SN10 did launch into the sky and land, it didn't last. Listing slightly to one side as an automated fire suppression system trained a stream of water on flames still burning at the base of the rocket, the spacecraft blew itself to pieces about eight minutes after touchdown. It was the third such landing attempt to end in a fireball after an otherwise successful test flight for the Starship being developed by SpaceX to carry humans and 100 tons of cargo on future missions to the Moon and Mars. Now, there is many ways to look at this, and for Elon Musk, he took it as well as could be expected. In a tweet responding to tempered congratulations from an admirer of his work, Musk replied, RIP SN10, honorable discharge. So yeah, he's a bit hurt, but again, it was progress. The ship launched and landed safely, it was the aftermath that led to its destruction. So if they can account for that, they might be able to make it much safer and thus make it better for the next version in SN11, which we would bet launches within the next month. So now that you know more about what happened to it recently, let's go and look at the Starship itself. Number 5. The SpaceX Starship Overview SpaceX's Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket, collectively referred to as Starship, represent a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship will be the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed with the ability to carry in excess of 100 metric tons to Earth's orbit. At first, this description from SpaceX may not seem like much, but don't be fooled. There's honestly a lot going on here. Not the least of which is that this is meant to be a reusable Starship. For decades, any flights into space would require a lot to get up there, including massive engines, and then the craft would slowly but surely break apart piece by piece as the mission went on, eventually ending up in a state where a basic pod would go and take the pilots into the ocean, where they would then be picked up by a nearby Navy vessel. Here though, that would not be the case. You would go up in one ship, and then you would come back down in that very same ship which of course would then allow SpaceX to go and use the ship again for when the time came for the next launch. Now, this simple change in tactics not only signifies the great leap in technology that we've undergone since the early days of the Apollo missions, but also shows a great financial change in how space travel can be done. 
because while there will need to be refueling, slight repairs, and so on with each starship, you now could build a fleet of these ships and use them as long as they are functional, versus going and having to build a new one every time a new mission needs to happen. Number 4. Ability to Deliver Satellites Starship is designed to deliver satellites further and at a lower marginal cost per launch than our current Falcon vehicles. With a payload compartment larger than any fairing currently in operation or development, Starship creates possibilities for new missions including space telescopes even larger than the James Webb. Here is another element that cannot be ignored and is another reason why the Starship is being watched by so many. As of now, putting satellites or telescopes into space can sometimes be a hard endeavor in various ways. Not to mention, even if you do put them into space, waiting for certain probes to reach destinations or satellites to line up properly, well, that can be a hassle. And again, they can only really do it one at a time. But with Starship, with its ability to bring lots of cargo into space, it can do the work in a fraction of the time, launch the telescope or satellite into space, and then come back down to Earth for its next mission. Or if they want to launch a deep space probe, they could get that done faster and get it in position quicker via the Starship's engines. So this isn't just about getting it into space, it's about being able to examine it even more completely than we have in the past. Number 3. We're Going to Mars Starship will enter Mars' atmosphere at 7.5 kilometers per second and decelerate aerodynamically. The vehicle's heat shield is designed to withstand multiple entries, but given that the vehicle is coming into Mars' atmosphere so hot, we still expect to see some ablation of the heat shield similar to wear and tear on a brake pad. Now, If you were to ask Elon Musk what the one true goal of SpaceX is, it would have to be that he wants to not just get humanity to Mars, but to start a setup colony there. Now, yes, the origins of SpaceX were to simply go and get humanity interested in making spaceships and getting back into space again, which he has done numerous ways. But as he realized the potential that his company had, he has set his sights higher, and he's claimed that within the decade, we will go to Mars. And so everything that goes into his Starship, from the engine to the cargo room and all its safety features, are designed to ensure that when things are ready for launch, he'll be able to go and take people to Mars. And in fact, he's already got somebody ready to take flight in his starship. Number 2. The Lunar Mission In 2023, Japanese entrepreneur Yusaku Mezawa and the crew of Dear Moon will become the first civilian passengers on a lunar starship mission, featuring a flyby of the moon during their week-long journey. The Dear Moon project is currently accepting applications for 8 civilians to join Yusaku Mezawa on the starship flight, an important step toward enabling access for people who dream of traveling to space. Yep, before SpaceX goes to Mars, they want to go to the moon with people on board. Would you want to be one of those passengers? Number 1. The Raptor Engine The Raptor Engine is a reusable methylox stage combustion engine that combines the Starship launch system. Raptor engines begin flight testing on the Starship prototype rockets in July of 2019, becoming the first flow stage combustion rocket engine ever flown. Now, in many ways, the Raptor engine is the heart and soul of the SpaceX Starship. They are what will help propel the ship into space and the moon and Mars, and while it has had its issues, Elon Musk remains adamant that this rocket, or the next upgraded version of it, will be what takes us to the next generation of space travel. Only time will tell to see if he is right. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the SpaceX Starship and what makes it tick? Are you surprised by all that has gone into this device? Which element of it do you think is going to make this a very special starship when it's fully ready and able to go to the stars and back without any issues? How close do you think SpaceX is to its final version? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.